Are you ready to simplify your network management? In this video, we'll walk you through the login and setup process for the TP-Link Omada OC200 controller. Connect OC controller PO in Ethernet port to PoE switch. Connect all your TP-Link access point to same PoE switch and connect uplink from your internet modem to PoE switch. Accessing the login page. Open your browser on a device connected to the same network. Enter the default IP address of the controller 192.168.0.253. Press Advanced button and click Proceed Anyway option. Now press Let's get started and follow steps to set up your TP-Link controller first time. Set a name for your controller. Choose your country and your time zone. Select application scenario you want to install use controller. And press next button. If access point not power on or not connected press skip button and set up controller next step. Press skip button for WAN settings. Set Wi-Fi SSID name for your wireless network. Create a stronger Wi-Fi password and press next button. Create an administrator name for your controller. Provide email address that used to reset and update controller settings. Create password for controller admin login. For device account set username and password that used to bind device. To use cloud access set a username and password for cloud login and accept term and condition and press next button to finish setup. Login again controller with new username and password. After login change controller default login IP address and make it static so you can access controller always with same IP address. Go to settings menu from bottom left corner settings gear. Then go to controller option from the settings menu. Now select network settings static and provide IP address. Subnet mask, default gateway and DNS information and update settings. After change IP address login again with new IP address. After login, if your access point connected to network all should start adding in device list. Now adopt device to sync with your controller network profile. Go to device list. Wait while device adding in device list. New device will show pending status. Click on the action button to adopt device one by one or click device and from right side information by you will get adopt button. After adopting device status will show provisioning that means controller fetching configuration to access point and after configuration done you will see device status showing connected. After device configuration completed. Now follow steps to add new user or change administrator login password. Go admin setting from bottom left corner. 
Press Add New User button and provide username and password for new user. Select User Role and Save Settings. You can also limit user to access only selected site and cannot manage all sites. To update main admin user password. Edit user settings under action button. Provide current password to access settings. Change username and password and save settings. Also for future safety export controller settings backup from settings export data so you can restore settings in future. Also keep update your controller to make it bug free and working in a smooth way. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy networking.